stitching code together, running code, and then getting the explanation of what the code did. And not only that, but going out and building the different components that would respond to the code, that was just fulfilling. Having House for Hack to come and work and introduce some of these technologies uh, to us as researchers, especially social scientists, um, it's a very, it's a very um, engaging way of learning more about what they do so we can design better projects in the future. As a researcher, it's important to understand what your res respondents go through. The, the people from House for Hack are very interesting in that they are down to earth, they make making interesting. Um, even if you've not had the experience before, you sort of open up and be able to use the tools that they provide and they make it very simple so that you are uh, able to follow through. We made a cricket playing robot. So we had to make the form of the guy standing at the batting station and also make the bat and then used tape to, to hold it together to the, this servo component of the Arduino and then went back to our code and fixed the time and everything so that when you run a ball through a pipe, the cricket man hit it. This sort of experience will um, enhance my understanding of how exactly uh, makers work within, within a community, within a space, how they collaborate, how they share knowledge, how they test and retest and perfect um, their innovations. We had to play with the code to get the timing right, trying to figure it out, doing the back and forth, hit or miss till we got it right, to see the code actually come to life. Uh, that was great.